Hello everyone. I think it's time and we can start. So hello everyone and I welcome you all to the free workshop and webinar for bioinformatics for next generation sequencing. So 2020 is the second year of Amity University Kolkata and Pine Biotech collaboration. In the past one year, we learned and researched via several interactions. We started with Omics Logic Transcriptomics program in 2019 March, and then introduction to bioinformatics program, which started in July, and then the Omics Logic Data Science program in September. We also started four group projects with different faculty and several students, and we all did it with ease. We saw students who started with absolutely no knowledge of bioinformatics and NGS technology perform their own experiments and scored thousands of points. During this meeting, I will introduce you all to our campus ambassadors from MIT University Kolkata to also talk about their experience. And to all our new participants and interested students, Bioinformatics for Next Generation Sequencing is a hybrid training program on bioinformatics launched in collaboration between Amity University Kolkata and Pine Biotech. The program is designed for students, faculty, and researchers who are interested in learning about data-driven research in life sciences. The program will start on the 13th of January, and online sessions will be recorded an email to the participants. Okay, so this will be an interactive session. We will be answering you via chat. So you can always ask your questions in the chat box. And also you can unmute yourself and ask me a question if you, if you have any confusion about anything that we go through today. So as I, as I was saying, the program will start on January and run till March and will be focused on data science skills and machine learning methods in application to the analysis of next generation sequencing data. In this three month course, we will discuss various aspects of next generation sequencing data generation and how this field of bioinformatics has evolved to handle such big biomedical data. But before we go and talk about the program itself, I would like to ask you, like, why do we want to learn about NGS data now? Or why do I want you all to learn about the NGS data? Well, let's look at the history a little bit. The, this year, uh, 2020, marks 70 years, you know, since the discovery of structure and function of DNA molecules. So, from 1950, it took almost 50 years to sequence the first human genome. What do you mean by, what do I mean by, you know, the human genome project? Is that, that was the time when we started to look into our own genome, the, all the base pairs that we have. So we sequenced all the, all the base pairs, 3 billion base pairs, 3.2 billion base pairs. Uh, Am I audible to other people? Uh, Deepsha, can you confirm? Uh, am I audible? I think Bhanu is having some problem in listening to the uh, lecture. Thank you, Shantan. Okay, so Bhanu, please check your audio and uh, try to increase the volume. Okay, so I was saying that uh, this uh, human genome project about the human genome project so the human genome project when it was done uh when it was done uh, we we went through you know understanding what is composed of our what is there in our own genome we were trying to look at the genes we were trying to look at and understand the you know coding regions and the exons and the introns the whole entire genome so after investing so much time and almost $3 billion, we were able to sequence our own genome. And after that, a company called Illumina came in and they, they, 
they started to you know evolve uh, in the technology that helps us to generate high sequence uh, this high throughput sequencing so the technology evolved rapidly during this time and in 2015 we have 1000 genome project that brought a significant number of whole genome sequences to the research community so you see that from that period of 1950 to the period of you know 1990 we gradually understood about individual genes about individual proteins and then the technology was available came and we have a comparative model as the human genome project was done successfully and then the technology evolved rapidly and now we have thousands of genome that happened in 2015 and in 2018 we have had almost 100,000 genomes sequenced so today there's an ever increasing number of genomic transcriptomic proteomic and metagenomic data sets that are available and which they describe the subcellular processes with highly detailed digital data for me it's a gold mine because right now we have sequences of almost we have millions of sequences from different organisms humans in particularly have been studied in so much depth because of the you know because of the industry getting involved in it because it's application in healthcare so i believe that omics technology has a huge role to play in our healthcare in the coming days as i was saying that uh, omics technology and next generation sequencing how it plays an important role in understanding what we are trying to uh, you know understand about our own physiology about the disease about the environment, etc. So, if I give you an example of phenomics, or maybe if I talk about the clinical features, you know, like how tall you are, uh, what is your age, and then its relation to your state of health. You know, uh, when you go to a doctor, he will ask that uh, doctor will ask you about your age, about your you know height, those things, and then relate you know medication according to that. So, like in genomics or in, in multi-omics or in omics, like how cancer affects the cell. What is that change which has caused such a deadly event? You know, such questions can be answered or can be better understood through next generation sequencing. NGS technologies are used to explore the roles, relationships, and actions of various types of molecules that makes up the cell of an organism. Many types of omics data can be generated using the NGS, as I already mentioned, or what is also known as high throughput sequencing. It's both the same. The data can show detailed information about genomic variants, like you see in this example, like you see if you will be able to read every code there, so you can understand when you compare that with, from a disease state, uh, the, num the SNPs, the variation, you try to understand those uh, relationships and relate it with the you know phenotype similarly epigenetic regulations are are playing so critical role in in today's world as we are learning more and more about epigenetic regulation methylation and all those analysis can be done using next generation sequencing data in this program we will be discussing about transcriptomic data a lot so what is transcriptomic data we are looking at genes and their expression we are looking at the expression of the genes in different states and comparing that what can be a person uh, who has ha who's, who have a cancer of a type and what will be an expression of uh, you know protein in a person who does not have you know who is a normal person so we will be looking at genes and isoforms expression so for the program our first meeting will be on the 13th, that is on Monday, and it will be an introductory and an interactive meeting with the participants. Like we are doing in this Zoom meeting, we will we'll be doing another Zoom meeting on Monday at the same time, and we'll be discussing, you know, we'll be discussing the program, we'll be discussing how to use the concepts that we, that we, that we just discussed, so we will introduce you to the part, uh, you know, we will introduce you to the omics logic resources, the educational material. 
you will have access to the edu.t.tbuyinfo platform. We will help you with your login credentials for our analytical platform, also which has more than 30 scientific pipelines, comprises of hundreds of algorithms. So I will also show you and demonstrate you the uh, educational and we will also go through the educational portal and also the tbuyinfo platform, which is the analytical platform. In this meeting, we will we will guide you to use your how can you use your profile, how can you score points and earn certificates throughout the course while learning about the NGS data and application of machine learning. So, as I was telling you, to give you an overview, this program will leverage online material we offer for free, which you can sample to get a sense of the content. So we have several online material on our educational site, which just uh, Bhivsha shared with you all in the chat box. So here we have uh, uh, we have different courses. However, in this program, this this program will offer greater detail and a you know and more focus on practical application. We will provide you guidance and community support for your learning. As an example. We will start with transcriptomics one. We will, which, which is an introductory course for next generation sequencing data analysis to study RNA expression. Let me show you how the online courses are structured. So when you go to, uh, when you go to the page, you will see something like this by membership. But as you already are a participant of this program or you will be a participant of this program, this will be provided free to you. And every course has this, uh, uh, here you can see this button, take the course. When, once you take the course, you will see each course has an overview video, a course topic overview, which is under 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes, you will get to understand about what this course is all about. And then you will have an online experience you, uh, by going through this course. I will describe you how it looks within. So if you see the online learning experience is designed to track user activity, which I mean, what I mean is that we will be able to see and you will also be able to see and evaluate your own activity. Like here, there is a profile which has points, which which we can see. I mean, we'll be describing more in detail in in the number in the coming slides. But to give you an you know overview, we will have a each course has a control section on the top where you will find your profile link, points to your activity, and displays. Recent noti notification. You can see the you can see recent notification and your profile link on the orange section of the control bar. Here you will find find addition additional buttons like you know course outline, search, go to next lesson, image magnification, download lesson PDF, change font size. So it's an interactive way to you know go through the lesson. And as you see here, this is the first, uh, you know, tutorial of the course transcriptomics one. We start from the very basic. We, we understand that everyone here comes from a different level. Some of us does not understand biology so much. Some of us does not understand data analysis so much. So we start from the very basic from the DNA to the RNA to the protein so that everyone can start from very basic and build from there to data analysis. So we all are on the same page, right? So these courses are built like that. Every courses and during this whole, uh, you know, uh, program, we will have assignments, practical assignments. So these practical assignments will help you to practice and learn more. So assignments are time, but they have a longer, you know, complexion time frame, uh, completion time frame, and they are scored. So they they will be including practical bioinformatics analysis using the server t dash bio info so our uh, server platform this is why it is important to have two logins for each user an account for the educational portal and another one for uh, 
the analysis platform, which is the server platform. The course itself, we explain the steps and you will be asked to perform demo analysis. In the assignments, we will uh, try to run the full pipeline and try to understand the output. So we will be using the server platform, which is this uh, T dash uh, info platform, which uh, already Soham and uh, Soham has shared, https slash slash server dot t dash bio dot info. But this will be available exclusively to the participants because it's a server platform which, which will be uh, given access to, which has a five terabyte of space, which can be you know, used for your own analysis. So I will pause here uh, for a minute and I will, uh, I'll wait if you have any question and then we can move to the next, uh, next class. Okay, so on the second class on January 16th, we will do the analysis of gene expression data with practical sessions and online tutorial. In this session, we will have theory followed by hands-on session on building a demo pipeline and understanding the steps of analysis. Anyone with a basic knowledge of cell and molecular biology will be able to conceptually understand as well as practically apply standard data analysis tools to process, analyze, and interpret complex transcriptomics data. So we'll make sure in this session, we will be learning about you know, data analysis, uh, building a pipeline, and it will be really interesting because many of you will be learning it for the first time that how these complex algorithms can be used very simply using a point and click, uh, point and click uh, platform where you will be able to understand the data analysis process and also understand the research behind it. So as I was saying that you will understand things in greater detail once you go through these courses. These courses are like books. These tutorials will guide you to understand transcriptomics data analysis. These resources provide a broad and yet detailed overview of processing, statistical analysis, machine learning tools, and many other techniques. The courses cover methods, expand on various terminologies and practical examples, and as well as quizzes for your self-evaluation. So the benefit of joining a program is that you get proper guidance to learn about omics technology, you get regular online webinars, you get practical exercises, and we also provide support via our social media platforms like WhatsApp, Facebook, LinkedIn, and we also have a forum where you can, you can you know, post your questions and we'll be happy to answer you. So as I was saying that uh, about a person uh, who is registered with us, how will that person will be benefited? So every participant will have a personal dashboard where they will see their own progress, they will score points, and they will get international certifications upon completion of each, you know, uh, each course as well as the entire program. So you get an international certificate, a certification with, uh, for finishing the program and doing a bioinformatics project for one month. So here, I mean, as I already said, that we have already participants from our previous program who have done excellent and uh, still working with us on various research problems. So one of such candidate or one of such participant is Sarah, Sarah Abraham. And I will like to give her the stage now to talk about her experience with us and how she has leveraged the, the educational and the server platform. I will stop the sharing and I'll let Sara to share her own screen. Hi Sara, are you there? Yeah. Yes, 
Hi, Sarah. I think you're not audible to me. Uh, are you, uh, Deepsha? Is Sarah audible or uh, no, anyone? No, it's kind of. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. Okay, so I think um, Deepsha, can you uh, take over and uh, try to, you know? Yeah. Okay, I will take over. Sure. Yeah. Sarah, if you can stop uh, the screen sharing, I think there's uh, some issue with the internet. Yeah, okay. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. Thank you, Mohit. So I'll be quickly sharing with you all and walking you through the Edu platform and all the resources that you will get here. So let me share my screen. So, uh, can you all see my screen right now? Mohit, if you can just let yes, me. Yes, uh, yes. Okay, thank you everybody. So, this is the educational portal as Mohit was talking to you all about, which is the edu.t-bio.info. So this is a profile or the educational portal that you come to the first time and I'm going to quickly take you through it and all of the things that you will get. There are a lot of tabs, a lot of things that is going on here. And for a lot of new people who are here on our platform, it becomes kind of, you know, overwhelming sometimes going around where to find the courses. So I'll just take you all through. So I'm already logged in. So as you can see, you can log out and log in to my own profile. And after logging in, I can get these tabs. So the first tabs is the courses. So here you have all of these courses that are listed down. Now, most of these courses are available for free, but there are also other courses on the platform which are paid courses. And there are some courses uh, which has a few parts of it paid and some of it are free. So you can continue to go ahead and explore. For anyone who is starting for the first time with bioinformatics or doing a program for the first time, it's always advisable to start with introduction to bioinformatics. It gives you an overview of everything that is there. And you know, all of our courses as Mohit has already showed you, it's very easy, you know, you have a lot of text, you have a lot of video content, and you can hover over things that you do not know and there are the FAQs that is available for you to study and then there are reference links that you can go through and you can explore this then we have a specialization section and here we have the event section so right now as you can see we are having three upcoming events which is like the omics logic transcriptomics we also had a free webinar yesterday on the upcoming program. So Omics Logic Transcriptomics will start next week from 14 January. Then we have the Amity program, which you all might be a part of. And this webinar is also a part of that program. And then we have the LBRN program, which is a transcriptomics program again, but it is by the Louisiana Biomedical Research Network and uh, with whom we have a standing collaboration and it's going to be at the louisiana state university where the students there can take this graduate session course and earn points after they finish it and the teachers will be taking the classes so moving on you have projects now this is something for anyone who is new again on the platform you do not have to go ahead and start doing a project there are a few projects which are free like this project but there are others which are paid ones. So during the session of this course, whenever you have, uh, you know, whenever you learn about all of the topics that we'll be covering in the next three months, we will be suggesting some projects to you. But again, you can also go ahead and develop your own projects. And, you know, we will help you to work on them. Then you have these other sections, the about us, 
the FAQs, the blog and contact. And if you go down, there is a lot of information here that will help you to learn better how the platform is to be used. Then you have the courses, which already Dr. Mohit showed you. And if you go right down, you will have the testimonial section. Then you have all of the collaborators that we are working with right now. So you have Amity University here. You have the University of Haifa, Loyola, the LSU, and the Tauber Bioinformatics Research Center from where our server platform, the T-Bioinfo, where this symbol, the T, the logo stands for Tauber Bioinformatics Research Institute. And Tulane University, University of Nebraska Medical Center, and so on. So if you go down, you have very important links that are given here, but I'm going to talk about three very important links right now. The organization activity and leaderboard, and the rest you are free to explore on your own and you will get more um, information about all the different things that are there. So you are part of, anyone who is taking part in this event, the Bioinformatics for Next Generation Sequencing will be part of this organization page. So once you become a member, you can go ahead to this page and you can explore the different things. So the first thing is the information about the program. Then if you go down, you can see all the upcoming events in the program. So here you can see that we will be starting on 13 January. Then if you click here, you can see that it's Next, it's going to be 16 January, then we have 20th January and so on. If you go ahead, you can see each of the courses or the sessions that are going to be there. And here you have the organization updates where you can look at each other, uh, whoever is a member of this organization and their activities, which is a nice way of seeing what any of, the, of your uh, team members or your group member is doing. Now, if you go to this page, you have a list of different things here, forum courses. So the forum is like this. Right now, I have not written anything. There is no topic created in the forum. So this is blank. But once we start with the program, we will have a lot of topics here. The next thing is courses. So this is something, again, all the coursework that will be covered during the program is given here. You're free to start and explore this on your own, or you can wait for us to talk to you about it. So this is something you can go ahead and do. It's all given here. And the next thing that you see is the progress. So this is very interesting. So with our educational platform, we do not need to you know, tell you, or you do not need to tell us how much or what you have done. Whatever you do will be recorded here. We can actually go to your profile and see what you're doing, what your progress is, what pipelines you're running, what courses are you doing, if you're stuck in any course, if you have passed a quiz, if you did not pass a quiz, so everything would be here. So next time you see this, probably after a week or so, you will have like a graph going up like this or going down, depending on all of the activity of the members. And you see already people who are in this organization and how much they have worked on the education platform, how much they have worked on the server platform is recorded here. So moving on, you have the syllabus. So most of you might have received a curriculum from our end. And if you have not, you are always free to go down to the syllabus section here and explore all of these platforms. Um, all of these uh, syllabus and topics and what we will be covering in the different sessions here. So, and the next thing that we go ahead is the hands-on assignment, which again, Mohit spoke to you about. Now, let me talk a little bit about the registration process. So if you come to your home section, so the first thing that many of you have done who have already registered is you have gotten the link to this landing page. You have registered here. As you see, it has already all of my, I've signed up to this page. Now, when you go ahead and make the payment, uh, you go to the home page, and here you can actually register for membership. If you click on this link, you would be taken to this page. So here you can already see all of the, the amount is stated here. 
the number of days is expires for or the license is valid for it's given here you can pay via this link so it might be that many of you cannot pay via the mastercard or the debit card that you have and if so we have other payment methods that we have sent to you via email but if you can do it and once you start paying here an account is automatically created for you and so this is how you do the payment and if you always have any problem you can reach out to me you can have my email id and i think most of you have my phone number as well and i'm trying to interact with everybody but even if i miss out on someone you can always talk to us in our forum in our chats you can talk to our campus ambassadors and you know go ahead so the next thing that we have is the activity tab so here you can see the activity here so the activity tab actually shows you the activity of all the members here so you can see the number of members is 2263 so now if you go down you can see what everyone in the platform has been exploring and the next thing you have is the leaderboard so once you start collecting points so let me show you a profile here okay so let me go to my profile here okay for shyanton yes shyanton for anyone who has paid say today or 2 3 days before uh, we will need some time to send you the login details and your account will be activated activated before the program is there you do not have to worry about it i'll be reaching out to you via email or phone call regarding it but we will be creating your credentials so it just takes time you just have to be patient with us regarding that okay okay moving on so as i was showing you my profile here so this is how a profile should look like see uh, you have your member uh, thing here so it usually is your name or the email id you have signed up with when you come down here you can actually change everything from the profile section and you can add all of your social media links here you can see how many points you have collected so this is where the leaderboard comes in so you see darko right now he's a data scientist with us from montenegro and he has collected over so many points so and we have added this new feature which shows you you know how many points you have received this week so you can see that avi has received around plus 450 points so this is a good way to see who and how many people are running the platform Ilya has got 10 more points so you can see and you can see that Ayushman here has is at 43,560 points Sarah could not share her screen and she is now at number nine with 20,880 points so this is a way the more courses you do the more you interact with us and the more you post on the forum and on the organization page you can get a lot more number of points and you can rise up in the leaderboard and once you go up in the leaderboard we feature you on our blog uh, and on our social media pages. So like this is our latest feature. It is Shine Penny Kosh and this is on our blog and social media. So you can see what Shine Penny is doing. So we do like an interview via email and then we post about the person. You can see here at that point of time when I was writing this, Shine Penny had collected 14,950 points. So this is how we create an interactive community of people and we try to stay active with all of you and try to reach out to everyone. So I think that is all about the platform. Now, anytime you have any kind of problem, you can always start and talk to us through any of these mediums and please try and update your profiles and let us start uh, the sessions. And now I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that Mohit can take over. Thank you, Bhikshya, for this wonderful introduction and the overview. I have, I think the uh, I think people who have questions will be reaching out to you. And now we will go to the uh, our presentation where we are going through the syllabus. So uh, as we saw, as, as you saw the profile and the certification and all those things, 
on January 20th, uh, we will learn about next generation sequencing data and the need for pre-processing, mapping, quantification, and you know, uh, concepts like that. So we will be going through, once you learn about the demo pipeline in the previous session, it will be easy to you, for you to understand these techniques. So to see how these methods are used in real RNA-seq studies, we will practice together running such pipelines because you will also have the login. I will also use my login and we will run the pipelines together and we'll see our analysis using the T-Band for server, which is exclusively available for you. This is the T-Band for server uh, platform. So as you see, this is a, you know, a complex pipeline with many algorithms. So this is one of the pipelines, as I was telling you, this is one of the pipelines and we have like several pipelines like this to do different type of analysis. In this program, we will be talking about the transcriptomics analysis. So we will be doing, you know, pre-processing. We will be doing mapping to the genome. We will be mapping to the transcript. We will look at the isoform construction. Then we will have a, you know, table of expression. And then we will do this uh, analysis for, for a few data sets and learn a lot about, you know, uh, how to do this research. So it is very easy to use because it's, as I said, these pipelines are color coded. So there's specific color for pre-processing. There's a specific color for, you know, mapping. There's a specific color for quantification so that you can guide, uh, so that you can, you know, guide through these uh, guidelines and uh, understand the keys. On January 23rd, we will be doing a little bit more of an you know advanced analysis in this session in this session we will be learning about statistical analysis using rna seq data uh, the process rna seq data which is very well described in transcriptomics 2 course we will see how exploring the gene expression table and understanding its properties can help us spot you know technical variations that can have unwanted effects on our analysis we will discuss how we can compare group of samples that represent different you know, conditions and learn about differential gene expression, t-test and regression all through you know, interactive uh, slides and videos as well as you know, doing the hands-on session on the server. So this is very important. On 30th uh, January 2020, after we did like you know for uh, complete transcriptomics one and two we would like to you know revise uh, this actually had helped us in the past and we wanted to make this into a habit that uh, whatever we learn we just don't you know keep on going and learning new things but we also recapitulate and revise what you have what we have done so we will do an online workshop so in this online workshop, this is a very unique workshop because uh, it will be for two hours and we, you will be sharing your screen. Like I'm sharing my screen, you will be sharing your screen. And if you have any problem, you know, it's like a hands-on online. If you have any problem in understanding anything, we'll help you in that. Like, you know, where's the file? Where, how do I run the platform? How do I use the platform? How do I use my login? Any question. May that be any basic question to may that be any advanced question about the algorithm, about the data type that we have learned. So we will do this on January 30th. And I think it will be at the same time or maybe a little bit earlier because it's for two hours. So the time would be that it, it would be either 7.30 or 8.30. So that we will tell you um, once the program starts. After doing all that analysis, I mean, all that practice and getting, you know, ready, we will jump to the next session about the exploratory data analysis. This is something where the machine learning, you know, machine learning starts. So oftentimes what happens is like, you know, using standard statistical tests, they do not capture the granularity of expression data. So expression data is big data, right? To learn about these methods that can handle complexity that is typical to large omics data sets, we, we have to learn additional methods like dimensionality reduction. You might have heard a lot about, you know, PCA, uh, principal component analysis. So we've been, uh, you know, uh, using PCA quite a lot in our research, in our 
courses so we will tell you how simple it is how you can do pca with your data and understand what actually pca does to your data it actually reduces the data reduces the dimensionality and you know provide you with more critical information so we will learn how we do that we will also learn very popular methods called edge clustering and k mean clustering these are all machine learning methods for uh, you know uh, doing uh, these are for unsupervised machine learning methods to explore data so we will be doing exploratory data analysis using you know case study and hands on um, cell line projects so we will be using the demo pipeline we'll show you hands on how to do it and we will also do the theoretical uh, you know um, understanding of how these methods work so as i was telling you that uh, some of the techniques are easy to use and can be done in excel once we like do the analysis we will download the result and we'll see the result and then we will open it in excel or any other you know uh, table manipulation software uh, and we will uh, look into the data what we have got from the platform also we will do the pca as i was telling you that this is a typical pca graph which shows like here you see the data is very close to each other so it it has low variation right here the data is expanded like this the higher variation because this point is uh, you know uh, far from this point simple like we're talking about the variation here the component uh, components how they explain the variation we'll talk about that and we'll understand pc1 pc2 in pca and how they work in the next class that would be on 6th we will be doing the data mining technique so this is again very interesting because first you do the data exploration and then you do the uh, you know um, supervised machine learning methods like how do you mine data as as you could imagine like uh, in a field where uh, in a in a mine in a you know diamond uh, mine you're mining and you're mining and you're looking for one diamond maybe so you're you know uh, that's how we are doing in data mining this data is so big and we are looking for critical information useful information that would you know help us explain our you know problem explain the research that we are doing so we are trying to mine data so how we are using machine learning tools so we'll be learning about decision trees random forests and how they are you know uh, applied in uh, in, uh, in in understanding of the transcriptomics data we'll also learn about the challenges not only uh, about the machine learning methods but every machine learning method is different from another one and how and how they perform on different data sets i mean why we use this machine learning method why we use that machine learning method what information those machine learning machine learning methods are giving is something that we are we will be going through in this program so we'll be learning about for example a defined pattern of expression and how it can be linked to you know regulatory net network so we'll be learning about those in very simple you know uh, by using simple examples it might look complex right now but while we will be having sessions after sessions and you'll be going through the courses it'll be really easy to understand how these uh, patterns can be you know like you can see here there is you know big graphs like big lines there's a pattern right here you see this like low low values this is high values so you can clearly see a pattern so we will be working and discussing those patterns and how to identify patterns in a big data set so in this course this course has a lot of machine learning methods uh, you know incorporated in it because we wanted uh, this program to have a lot of understanding of you know how these methods once we learn about the data mining techniques and explore the various patterns that seems meaningful we can train a machine learning model that will classify new samples you know it's like after understanding about the pattern like how if you know if i give you an example of images of cats and dogs so if you train a machine with number of images that represents a cat and a number of a machine with a number of pictures that represents a dog and you ask that machine that camera to you know predict a dog or a cat so it's something like that so what we are trying to say here is that based on the data based on the pattern 
we will just you know uh, this is way more complex than cat and dog because we are talking about multi omics or omics data so we'll be doing discriminant analysis like lda swlda qda support vector machines they are fantastic you know machine learning methods that helps us to that helps us in classification we'll also look into the data visualization this will be a you know deep dive into uh, machine learning and how machine learning is used for predictive analysis and once we learn about all this so it's it's in a flow actually because first we are talking about the data types and then we are talking about how these data types can be you know further studied using machine learning methods and once you have get you got some you know um, answers or you got some critical information from machine learning methods what you try to do is to do a biological interpretation means how the information that you have received or in the information that you have mined is useful to your research so ultimately that's the you know that's the goal we try to connect the data with biology how can these i'll give you an example how can these genes isoforms or their expression level help explain the mechanism of action explain the process of say deregulation of vital cellular pathways or provide indication that a gene or protein can be considered as a target for drug so these are very critical uh, you know questions in research so we'll be looking at you know gene set pathway enrichment analysis we will learn to utilize these and see these pathways so here if you see that these are like metabolic pathways you know regulation of actin cytoskeleton b cell receptor signaling pathways these are typical pathways that are there uh, in 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 you know eukaryotes and in many higher organisms where like uh, you will see in this green uh, boxes shows you know uh, mm, low expression and this red boxes shows you know high expression or vice versa so you will understand that in a in a particular you know pathway which genes are over which genes are expressed highly expressed which genes are have low expression which genes have medium expression and then you can see and compare that these genes these proteins or these molecules uh, may be causative for some some you know some uh, some biological uh, activity that is happening that you wanted to see so we'll be covering those in this class and the application of classification in general like uh, you know these methods are not always used in small research projects however they have very important application in pharma in biotechnology in research and development as well as in clinical application so here is the job aspect as well why we are learning all this why why we are doing you know uh, these these courses why we are learning about machine learning and data driven research because you know nowadays everything has changed from you know uh, single experiments to big data experiments now we are doing data driven research it's not just in biology but it's everywhere Uh, may that be you know your your shopping pattern may that be your travel pattern anywhere now data is being used that's why this is so important that that's why it becomes so important to learn about these and also another important aspect which is the precision medicine or you know personalized medicine so in the coming days as i'm i was telling you everyone is collecting data you will have information about your own genome so you should be i think everyone should be aware of their own self so that you know they can have the correct you know correct therapy correct you know they can take correct decision about their own healthcare that's pretty important right so it has we will be talking about you know how these methods are used in you know biomarker discovery how these methods are used in drug repurposing and as i said like for finding a critical molecule that could be used for a drug target so on february 20th this will be the time where we will be doing an on site workshop so there will be an on site workshop uh, which will be uh, maybe a full day workshop where we will you know um, it will be a free workshop for all mit university kolkata students so in this workshop it will be an interactive workshop we will go through new transcriptomic data set and learn to perform the statistics 
statistical and the machine learning data analysis and the biological interpretation. So we will have brainstorming sessions. We will have on-site you know, interaction with, uh, with the students. We will also have group presentation, scientific discussions on different topics. We will also discuss job opportunities in bioinformatics, as I was telling you before. After this, I mean, the interesting part, once you all have learned about, you know, these techniques and how they are imply, how they are, uh, you know, uh, the, about their application in different domains, we will be, you know, on 27th of February, we will be starting to work on new bioinformatics projects. So in the previous program, we actually had come up with several good projects. The, the, this program, will include a number of research projects that you can join as Bipsha was showing you as well, ranging from biomedical to, you know, agri agrobiological studies, not just bio, uh, you know, bio biomedical, but agricultural studies as well. Students and faculties from MIT University Kolkata last year collect, uh, came up with these, collected the data, uh, did the analysis, and together we will continue to work on the thesis projects and different projects and learn about research collaboration during our three month program. This project will also help you understand important research problems as I was telling you, and the ways you can use data analysis to, to derive meaningful insights. So here, I would like to give the stage to our previous year's, uh, previous year's participant of Omics Logic Transcriptomics, Introduction to Bioinformatics and Data Science Program, Soham Vishwas. He is now a fourth year student doing BTEC Biotechnology to talk about his experience with bioinformatics. So, uh, Soham, I'll stop the sharing and I'll give the stage to you. Yes, thank you. So, hi everyone, I'm Soham from BTEC BT78 and I'm happy to share my takeaway from Pine Biotech with you. So, First, let me share my screen. So I'm with Pine Biotech. So I'm with Pine Biotech for uh, one year right now. And in previous year, I had an opportunity to work on a project about cancer biomarker under Professor Chitto Mal our bioinformatics professor in Amity University in ovarian cancer. So here's a project title you can see. And our objective was to study the differential expression in various ovarian cancer biomarkers and predicting that which among all these biomarkers are significant for diagnosis. Now, if you are wondering that, okay, so what is a cancer biomarker, then let me tell you, a cancer biomarker refers to a substance. Now, the substance can be a molecule or a gene that indicates the presence of a cancer in the body. So we dealt with a variety of genes, or you can say a set of genes as the cancer biomarkers, and we study the differential expressions of those genes. So meaning like the differential expression is something that a particular gene, when it is expressed in uh, various, in an in a entire population, in uh, various organisms or individuals, then it expressed differentially from one organism or one individual to another individual. Like say, like just say the gene for uh, height. So of course someone is, uh, with lesser height and someone is very tall. So like that in cancer too. So the cancer genes are very differentially expressed. So our goal was to predict which are the most significant biomarker or the genes among those, the set of genes. So in this context, so now in this con context, in order to study this, we uh, extensively used to the Pine Biotech server platform and Pine Biotech was really helpful for us. So what was our approach? So first we collected the data from uh, various online databases like Firebrowse 
for cancer genome atlas. Then we prepared the data. So the data must be prepared for analysis. And this was extensively done by the server platform. Uh, already Dr. Mohit has showed you. And then we uh, analyzed the data on the server platform. We ran various uh, pipelines like PCA and uh, DE-seq, et cetera, et cetera. So of course, when we'll uh, study uh, about uh, on this course, so you will be uh, studied a lot about those uh, pipelines and how to run those pipelines. And lastly, we uh, biologically interpreted uh, those data. So you can just take a look. So this is the uh, problem statement that we figured out. And then, okay, this is the data collection procedure. So I'm not uh, going to in details in this because, okay, we are running out of time. So just take a look. Now, this is the data preparation. And of course, this uh, data preparation, you will be trained uh, throughout this course. And here the data analysis, and these are the pipelines. So this is particularly a pipeline that was very useful for our analysis. And this was, and this is the ultimate uh, biological discussions or the biological interpretations that we had. So, so therefore the uh, project was very exciting. It, so it was about ovarian cancer and. Of course, you know that the uh, cancer is a very critical uh, disease in nowadays. So yes, uh, we had a great exposure to the uh, hands-on practicals and as well as we can cultivate our knowledge throughout our hands-on practicals by exploring the server platforms. And also, so about and also after that, uh, completing this uh, project, I was, uh, I am now uh, doing uh, another project uh, under Dr. Prabhudha Gupta and it is about leprosy. So we had uh, two bacteria, one is Mycobacterium lepri and another is Mycobacterium lepromitosis. And we are studying the epidemiology of these uh, two bacteria. So therefore, uh, the project, the, uh, these projects are very much uh, exciting for us and we are doing uh, from uh, since last one year so here i am stopping my uh, screen share and thank you thank you dr mohit for uh, giving thank me you. the chance yeah. thank you so, so thank you for this wonderful presentation and we do have dr prabuddha here with us so i will like to if uh, possible if you can talk i would like to give him the stage to just uh, talk about uh, the project and his experience a little bit. Mm. Dr. Prabhuddha, are you there? So Dr. Prabhuddha and Dr. Chitabrata will be helping us in taking few of the classes. He'll, he'll be, they'll be also your guide at MIT University and they'll also be your guide here along with me and Joe Callahan, who is our, you know, community, uh, who is our uh, faculty uh, at Pine Biotech. So we have a lot of people to guide you through this whole, you know, experience. So let me again share uh, the presentation and uh, share the presentation and show you the the last few slides, which uh, which will which will talk about uh, the opportunities with us. So as uh, Soham described about the biomarker project, uh, cancer ovarian project, project and leprosy project, we also were working on tomato project about the fruit ripening project and Tara, whom, uh, who she was uh, unable to talk, but she was very much excited to talk about her study grade project. So it was, it's again a very interesting project. So you can always reach out to her in MIT and you know, discuss and talk more about her research. So uh, ultimately, you know, uh, the goal uh, is like many of our past participants, participants of bioinformatics for NGS, this program, 
should get an opportunity to present their analysis in front of their classmates and peers, like your classmates and peers, or even conference poster sessions, paper sessions, and workshops. So that is the ultimate goal. So we will be trying to conduct one of these sessions in our upcoming, uh, you know, workshop. But also, you know, uh, the projects that we are working on adds a lot of value to your CV because these are the projects that we, you know, usually people discuss in the interviews. These are the projects that will, you know, stand out in your application for, you know, masters on PhD or a job. So I think it is very important and very critical to, you know, do these and do the complete learning and maybe finish the project and do a poster session. It's not that difficult. And we've been, you know, doing it with everyone who comes up with like basic and no knowledge. We try to learn from the beginning, start from the scratch and then try to build into something which is uh, of high value. See here uh, in Louisiana, we work on different projects and also in MIT, we have worked on fantastic projects. So I think it will be a great experience for, uh, you know, researchers, students, especially students uh, to get exposure to such uh, cutting edge research and also to expose themselves in the research scientific community. As I was telling you, like, you know, uh, fine biotech, biotech, bioinformatics programs have been highly recommended by our previous participants. So you can go and talk to your you know, peers, you can go and see the you know, reviews in our platform. Together we are trying to build a you know, vibrant community, uh, bioinformatics community that works together to you know, address cutting edge research problems using bioinformatics. So during this program, we would like to welcome you to join, uh, we would like to welcome you to join us for this exciting program by registering with us. Uh, and you can always talk to Bipsha and you can talk to me and talk to uh, the participants on the previous participants as well as the campus ambassadors to learn more. But uh, it would be great to have you with us and, uh, you know, do this uh, together, go through this journey and learn more about bioinformatics and cutting edge research, which is which would be a prerequisite for the future. So um, I would like to stop here. Uh, we are already. Uh, above our time, but uh, we'll be happy to, you know, answer all the queries that uh, you have. So I will stop here and ask you uh, for your questions and, uh, and then we can conclude the session. So you can write in the chat box if you have any questions. And Bipsha, if you want to say something. Uh, yes. Uh, so anyone, if you want to ask a question, you can unmute yourself and ask. And for the registration or any other thing, please reach out to me via WhatsApp or email. I've put it in the chat. And I'm also adding the organization page link for all of our members who have already become part of the program so you can go ahead and explore the things that i've showed you so uh, uh shinjini is asking a question when do we start the courses like transcriptomics one Mohit, if you yes uh, shinjini i think uh, bipsha has already told you this in during the presentation that you can start it right away and uh, we can uh, help you with that and if you have any problems because these courses are already you know um, uh, available are available and if you have any problem in accessing these courses let us know so you can start with the course but we will be covering them as i showed you during the whole uh, presentation that we will be covering them uh, one by one uh, in a process in a flow where you understand you know we will guide you through this whole process so even if you go through it, we will again, uh, you know, go through it with you. And if you have more questions that time, it would be really nice. Okay, uh, you're welcome, Shinjini. Thank you, Mohit, for answering that. And also, uh, for anyone who is going to start, say, for the first time, it is always recommended, as I said again, and I'm repeating myself, let's start with introduction to bioinformatics that really gives you an overview of everything. And then you can 
choose to go ahead with any of the other coursework that you have. But doing that will give you an understanding. Okay, so Jitendra has a question. Mohit, if you would like to answer that. Yeah, Jitendra, it's a valid question. So usually in this program, we start with an educational uh, data set, which is already published and we explore uh, what they have already done because we are trying to validate and we are trying to do and learn the basics first. And then we go into, you know, as I said, new projects. Yes, we start working on, on your own data maybe or your own idea. So you will have to come up with idea and so publishing a paper, you know, publishing, publishing a research paper takes a while. But yeah, of course, I mean, why not? I mean, that's the purpose, right? That's what I said. Like doing a good analysis, if you get great results, if you get good results, then definitely you can uh, publish that, go to conferences, uh, you know, validate with, uh, talk to scientists, have more ideas, and of course, publish that paper. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, as I said, uh, you know, this uh, job opportunities, we will be discussing this in more detail during this program. But if you see, like we keep on, uh, we will be adding you to our LinkedIn group where we keep on posting about job opportunities related to this uh, type of data analysis, bioinformatics analysis. Yes, there will be many job opportunities. But as, as I said, like job opportunities varies from you know location varies from expertise so first we should try to you know get skilled get you know that exposure to understand a research problem to understand uh, you know uh, what is actually happening in this world of research in this current world of research once you learn that once you understand that i don't think there is uh, any stopping you from getting a good job because there is a lot of opportunity with you know uh, data analysis big data analysis bioinformatics especially in this uh, uh, NGS uh, data analysis uh, domain, there are a lot of opportunities that I can tell you. We don't provide any you know, uh, job opportunities by ourselves, but we can always guide you towards the right opportunity. You're welcome, Shantan. So if we don't have any more questions, I think uh, we can end the session here and I will be hoping to see you all on Monday. Uh, the course include learning in Python or R. So yeah, it's a very good question again. So many of the data analysis part that we talked about, the first we do the analysis from, you know, big data files like fastq files, BAM, SAM files. From there, we understand the table of expression. From there, uh, we get, you know, the platform gives us, you know, output in R script. So we also have uh, courses uh, on R, how to utilize R using our platform, how to increase, uh, how to, you know, change the visualization and make it more publishable or presentable. So we'll, we can, you can always uh, work with us to learn more about R and specific packages. Python is more uh, programming intensive. So our courses are built for biologists and we are trying to you know, teach everyone about these data types. So getting into a coding language would be out of the scope of this program, but we will have more you know, upcoming courses where it will be more you know, programming intensive in the future. No, I don't think you need to learn R from scratch. Uh, anyone does not need to learn in about anything about R right now. So we will be first focusing on the data type, like the NGS technology, which is very important to learn. And then we will learn about the data analysis. And during that anal analysis part, we will be using some R packages. And that is, again, very easy to use. We will be guiding you how to use it. There's also a tutorial, actually, which is like you can just see that and you know emulate in your pc so also if you have any problems during that time we will be helping you with that 
so i don't think you need any extra knowledge and additional knowledge to learn uh, for this program but you know if you're interested in learning r there is no harm yes uh, we have a machine learning section which uh, which has all the algorithms and all the uh, essential uh, data types to handle so yes the server will have uh, server will do the machine learning part Uh, Ryan, uh, this uh, if you are learning about methylation by NGAs, so I said about the epigenetic data type. So uh, we will be. I think it's it's pretty important to understand the transcriptomic data for to learn about the platform, and then you can uh, once you are comfortable with the platform, once you start exploring the NGAs, uh, the uh, RNA seq data. you'll be able to explore the different uh, different other you know uh, 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 pipelines where you can you know learn about the methylation by ngs and uh, we'll also be coming up with a course epigenetic course which will address the exact same thing as you said methylation by ngs uh, so we'll be uh, telling you more about that course in future but right now this program will be in this program we'll be talking about the uh, the expression data and i think which which is pretty uh, much uh, critical as well uh, rajesh das uh, so hi do we have to build the machine learning models ourselves uh, we will be doing it together like as i said like these classes these sessions will be interactive and uh, will have a practical you know exercise so the practical exercise the way it works is that uh, mm, is that that we will be doing it together you will be also accessing the platform i'll be also accessing the platform and we will be doing the machine learning models together we will, before machine learning models we will do the data exploration and we'll understand how these machine learning methods help us to get to the right answers for that we will be building a uh, uh, classifier at the end using uh, in our data mining and after that class uh, we will be looking at the biological interpretation as well as i covered during the program so yeah uh in this program you will talk about metagenomics no we have uh, just finished one program on metagenomics um so we will not be talking much about metagenomics but a general overview of metagenomics but we have already uh, good courses on metagenomics available on the platform you are uh, free to explore those metagenomic courses and uh, if you have any uh, questions and if you have a research problem then you can get back to us and we can discuss that as well with you wadi bharti hi uh, so will this cover both yes will, this will cover both short and long reads uh, in so we will be covering all the read types we will be doing uh, fpkm r Uh, and all those uh, parameters we'll be understanding those so anything associated with uh, you know transcriptomics data we'll be uh, learning about uh, those uh, features and how to do the data analysis yeah thank you bipsha for sharing this link and you're welcome bharti uh, for metagenomics yes Ah, uh, you're welcome, uh, everyone. Thank you for joining today's meeting, and uh, it was great to have you here. And uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. And even if you don't want to join, if you don't, if you can't join the program, please explore our platform. It's a, it gives you a good learning experience. I can guarantee you that. So please take up the free courses if not, and uh, let us know. I mean, we are. Uh, we are really eager to learn about the feedback about how you like the courses or how do you want to uh, uh, suggest so thank you again uh, for everyone for uh, attending today's meeting and we'll also be sending out the recording of this meeting 
So if you have missed anything and if you want to, you know, reassure and if you want to uh, go back and uh, learn about each session, uh, you can do that. Thank you again. And also during the session, as we said, that we will we keep on, you know, recording our sessions and then keep on sending them to our participants so that they can do it at their own time, at their own, you know, pace. Uh, because uh, sometimes we get busy in different tasks. Uh, and then we can take out time because this is an online platform. All you need is your laptop or maybe mobile phone. So thank you again uh, uh, for joining today and uh, hope to see you soon.